wanted to continue doing it and staying on the air, but when I start uh, getting a little bit irritable and also suddenly I can't remember all the documents or information like I normally can, I always take off with two or three days, and it just absolutely jump starts me. So I'm going to be back Sunday. No, you're going to be filling in Sunday 4 to 6, but I'm going to be back Sunday in town. I'm outside Austin right now, and then Monday I'll be back uh, rip-roaring, ready to go, and I appreciate you. Taking on quite a few hours. You got four hours, 11 to 3 p.m. Central. And then the Info Warrior out of the Info War Studio, simulcast on uh, Genesis, uh, is there from 9 to midnight Central Standard Time. And I, I guess coming up today, you push back Mark Dice because you've got Senator Brogdon coming on from Oklahoma where they bypassed the governor to pass the, uh, pass the state sovereignty uh, act up in Oklahoma. But then what is Dice coming on after that from like 115 to, to, uh, to uh, 215 or so? Yeah, we're going to hold them over a little bit over and maybe even take some calls with them in that final hour. Hey, while you're at it, uh, let's just take care of business here on air before I get into this news. We finally yesterday, I mean, I've been told by the guy that ran the Alex Jones channel, over 30 million views and over a million views a week. And that was the whole point is that it started building up, getting bigger and bigger, where it was online by the end of the year to have like you know, 50, 60 million views. But we finally got the actual... <clears throat> Documents, uh, the actual you know letter from from YouTube, and uh, it was the Pittsburgh Post Gazette. It says that there at the top with a complaint, though the Gazette says they know nothing about it. Kind of like uh, Sergeant Schultz, I know nothing. I know nothing. And uh, also, it was our good old friend Michael Reagan who said, "Kill Mark Dice. He'll pay for the bullets. He will pay to have him murdered. He wants him dead." That's a quote. Call me. I've got money. Uh, and then he went on to say, "Shove hand grenades." sexually into children. I mean, you can't make this type of stuff up. Well, they're very embarrassed by those clips when he went psychopathic on air. So they had Mark Dice's channel suspended, but then they were worried about lawsuits. So uh, uh, Michael Reagan called Mark Dice on his cell phone. So Mark Dice actually has Michael Reagan's number. Well, I guess a year after that whole scandal, when we called for getting Mark Dice's YouTube account, you know, re-upped and things, it's the same people. Uh, the, in fact, he was the straw that broke the camel's back because it's two strikes. You know, you're out basically with YouTube. And, 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 folks, the reason I'm obsessing over this is there are attacks everywhere on free speech happening right now. And, and you know, whenever we have an Internet outage or a problem, 98% of the time, you know, we come on air and we say, no, this was our own servers going down or our, our own problem or a lightning strike or you know, things like that have happened. Or the power's out in Austin and our backup batteries went down. You know, there have been things that knock us off the air and knock us off the Internet over the years. That's why we have a big, redundant system that's uh, multifaceted to try to resist some of those attacks. But we got hit for five, six days straight with the biggest and most sophisticated uh, denial-of-service attacks that one of our big IT centers and our two IT guys have ever seen while we were getting death threats, while we were getting threatened, while all these uh, different uh, things were going on, and then our YouTube channel gets taken down on top of it. So uh, I just want to point out to listeners that we are having an effect. This is the good news. You know, I uh, took my family, uh, you know, for a couple days uh, camping out of town, camping slash staying in a lodge, and I walked up to the lodge place to get my keys to the cabin, and all three people that were in the little lodge were all fans, and they'd never heard of my show before until about two weeks ago. They started watching us on YouTube, and that's what I'm talking about here. Folks, we cannot just quit YouTube. Uh, that uh, that nice teenager from Minnesota, uh, who uh, what's his name, who's been, been fighting for 9-11 Truth to School? Robert Wannick. Yeah, Robert Wannick put out a nice video, you know, defending us, but saying that he's going to quit YouTube now. No, I've seen so many great directors and so many great activists leave YouTube because of their censorship. They are battling us there because it's the number three website in the world, because our information can go viral there. Just because we're drawing fire doesn't mean we retreat. It doesn't mean that we give up because we're under attack and because we're being censored. It means we intensify all of our efforts on YouTube, on Google, but then doppelgang all the video and audio uploads to other sub-video channels that are also quite large. 
So, uh, you know, that's the bottom line, ladies and gentlemen. If we weren't hurting them, they wouldn't be doing this. And I can be in Costa Rica, and people walk up to me and say, I watch you every day on YouTube. I can be in Canada, they walk up and say, I watch you every day on YouTube and Google Video. I can be in the middle of the woods in Texas, and people walk up and say, we watch you on YouTube. I can be in D.C., New York, everywhere I go. And it's not like I'm walking past 100 people and two or three out of 100 come up. Burmish, you know you're with me, and it happens to you a lot, too. Rob Dew's getting recognized everywhere. When I send him to Boston or I send him to uh, you know different places to do interviews, Aaron Dykes, Rob Jacobson are getting recognized you know, in Kansas City everywhere. I mean, people that are hardly on camera, people that have been working for us two, three months, are already being, and again, that's a gauge of the information. If, 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 if it was just some guy talking about how to uh, fly fish or something, and people are saying, oh, I recognize you everywhere from your fly fishing videos, that would just be interesting. It would be a bit vain, but, but this isn't fly fishing. This is fishing for the minds of men, unlocking minds. This is, when, when we get recognized, it is a gauge of the effect we're happening and, and, and of what's happening in this nation and this world. So the reason I'm going to be on via telephone uh, for at least 30, 45 minutes with you tomorrow is I have a ton of news and information I want to go over uh, and a lot of points I want to make. But the reason I called in to the show today is because I just wanted to let the listeners, everybody out there know <clears throat> because I've gone through this myself, that we get down sometimes and we get frustrated and we get so close to the problem and it's so obvious to us and the corruption is so ridiculous and the lies are so ridiculous that we have a tendency to, you know, feel fatalistic or like there's no hope. Ladies and gentlemen, there's more than just hope. There is just an amazing things that are happening right now and if we'll just intensify our efforts to wake everybody up, and, 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 and people are ready to wake up right now because everything we've talked about in the past is coming true. We've done the groundwork. Many others before us did the groundwork. Many people out there listening to the groundwork. Uh, world government's openly being announced and set up. So now is the time. Of course the enemy's blasting our walls and coming in and bringing the nation down. But we always knew this point was coming. And so now is the time to fight with maximum effort. Because we're being hit and attacked and, 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 the, and the enemy is striking, means that we are engaging them. When you're over the target, you get the flag. And when you're coming in, I guess, in Vietnam to drop the troops off in some forest, uh, some jungle uh, meadow, you know, some, 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 some uh, landing zone, and you're getting fired on, you know you're coming down where the enemy's at. You know you're coming down where the action is. And so, yeah, we can run off to little smaller sites and places and not be molested and left alone for now, but we need to go out and find the enemy, seek and destroy in the info war. We need to go where we're under fire. We need to go where we're under attack. We need to go where we're being resisted. And with that, I want to get into uh, Jackie Smith, the Home Secretary, literally a would-be Pinochet or Adolf Hitler or Mao Zedong, but she's kind of the Hermann Goering or Heinrich Himmler, uh, I guess, for Gordon Brown and the New World Order, the head of the G20. But before I get into that, Burmas, any comments on my last uh, seven-minute rant? Well, I can't agree more. I mean, just because we're, you know, being thwarted on YouTube by taking down our biggest channel doesn't mean that there isn't a ton of Alex Jones stuff out there. It doesn't mean we can't rebuild. Like you said, it's the number three website in the world, only behind Google. And remember, Google Video does integrate all the other websites and like Vimeo and MySpace Video in their search engines. But they've they've really taken beta to alpha. You know, taking down uh, the amount of views, taking down the top 100, taking down the hottest videos. Now you have to click through just featured videos. They don't tell you any stats exactly. on them. Let's be clear. 